Hello everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Monday the 9th of August. We begin as always with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Nurture our faith, Lord. Nourish our discipleship and grant that in the fullness of time buds may burst into bloom and our lives may bear living fruit in your service testifying to your transforming love and redeeming grace. Loving God, we talk of building up our faith, of helping it grow and become stronger day by day, but frequently that is little more than empty words. The truth is that we are careless in discipleship, neglectful in our part in keeping it strong and healthy. We pray intermittently, too often as an afterthought rather than as our first impulse. We're cursory in our reading of the scriptures, turning to them as much out of habit or duty as with any real expectation of you speaking through them, of you challenging, instructing, guiding and uplifting us through your living words. We go for days sometimes without even considering you, our thoughts being all for ourselves and the things of this world. Forgive us, we pray, and teach us to use the spiritual resources you have put at our disposal. Help us to build up our faith so that it may truly become strong, able to meet whatever life may throw against it, and still stand firm. Amen. Philippians chapter 2 I hope in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you soon, that I also may be cheered when I receive news about you. I have no one else like him who will show genuine concern for your welfare. For everyone looks out for their own interests, not those of Jesus Christ. But you know that Timothy has proved himself, because as a son with his father he has served with me in the work of the gospel. I hope therefore to send him as soon as I see how things go with me, and I am confident in the Lord that I myself will come soon. But I think it is necessary to send back to you Epaphroditus, my brother, co-worker and fellow soldier, who is also your messenger, whom you sent to take care of my needs. For he longs for all of you, and is distressed because you heard he was ill. Indeed he was ill, and almost died. But God had mercy on him, and not on him only, but also on me, to spare me sorrow upon sorrow. Therefore I am all the more eager to send him, so that when you see him again you may be glad, and I may have less anxiety. So then, welcome him in the Lord with great joy, and honour people like him. Love you. 
Psalm 36 Your love, Lord, reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness to the skies. Your righteousness is like the highest mountains, your justice like the great deep. You, Lord, preserve both people and animals. How priceless is your unfailing love, O God! People take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house. You give them drink from your river of delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Continue your love to those who know you, your righteousness to the upright in heart. May the foot of the proud not come against me, nor the hand of the wicked drive me away. See how the evil doers lie fallen, thrown down, not able to rise. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Living God, we thank you for wanting us to enjoy a meaningful relationship with you not one of master and slave, lord and servant, but as part of your family, your care for us being like that of a parent for their child or a spouse for their partner. Forgive our failure to work at that relationship, even sometimes to value it. Forgive the way we spurn your love, forgetting you and putting others in your place. We thank you that although we repeatedly let you down, you stay faithful, continually reaching out to build fresh bridges between us. Renew our commitment and deepen our devotion so that your will may be our will and your delight our delight. Help us gladly and wholeheartedly to return your love, if not in full, at least in part. Amen.